Musicology's whiteboard. Clicking the plus sign in the bottom left hand corner of the iPad will open up a collapsible icon menu. The whiteboard is the one with the pencil and the swirl around it. Tapping that opens up the whiteboard. You see the Apple Pencil Kit at the bottom. It can be moved around and rolled everywhere so that it's not obstructing anyone's views. Your student's remote camera view is the little logo square that's floating around and that can be moved around and resized to however you like. On the right hand side you see a blue back arrow which will bring you back to the home screen or there is also a plus sign which opens up more collapsible icons. Starting from the bottom there is the lock feature and this will lock your student out of making drawings all over the whiteboard when you don't want them to. The stopwatch looks like a watch. It can be moved around the screen as well. You simply tap on the number, enter in a time value. I've entered in five seconds press done and then play and it will tick down and change color as it gets closer to zero. This is fun for students to do and use for games. Above the stopwatch is the metronome. Pressing that and holding it will pop up your different sounds and you're able to adjust the BPMs. So I'm going to set it for 220 sorry 120 and I am going to press the dog. There's a cat and there's a metronome. Now you can't hear the sound because the metronome is the sound is pushed from the student side to the teacher so we don't have a student in this room right now so we cannot hear the sound however your student will be able to hear it. Above the metronome is a happy face and that is where we store all of our emojis. Our emojis are on every single screen and they can be accessed anywhere. Above that is the trash can. The trash can will get rid of all of the images and the file that's been uploaded to the screen. Above the trash can is a square with a pencil through it. This will get rid of the annotations, but not the file that's been uploaded. It will simply get rid of any of the drawings that you've put on there. Then we have a music note with three lines beside it. Sort of looks like it's flying. This is our grant staff stamp. So you can draw anything you like on here. Notes connect them down to the keyboard, whatever you like to do. So many options to play games. Now I'm going to delete the writing from the screen by pressing the square with the pencil. And then I'm going to get rid of the stamp now by pressing the trash can. Above that, you see a box with an arrow pointing into it. This is your save function. So you press that and a pop-up will come up that says enter a new file name. You can name the file and then click done and this will be saved to your student's room. Where you find these saved files is the icon with the three dots. So I am going to pull up frogs here. And here we have them on our screen and I'm able to draw on them then. Now I'm going to delete the annotations. I'm going to press the square with the pencil through it and then I'm going to delete the file itself. If I wanted to save my writing on that page for my student to see later, I would just simply name the file and press the arrow with the box icon. Now I'm going to upload a file while I'm in a lesson. So I will press the camera button and images pop up for my camera roll. I am going to select Blackbird's low and high sounds. So I'm going to name this now. 
click done. There's another pop-up that says, are you sure? And do you have the rights to use this? Yes, I do because I have the book, my student has the book. So we are simply using Musicology as a tool to work on this together in our online lessons. Now I have everything up here. I'm going to press and hold on one of the pencils. I like to have a little better thickness, so I'm going to click on pencil 97, make the thickness bigger, and maybe I'll make my color green today. So now I'm going to color in the two black keys. This is super fun to use because the students get to color on it with you. And then if they make a mistake, all you have to do is just get rid of the images by pressing the square with the pencil through it. We do have an eraser in the Apple Pencil Kit. However, the eraser is not collaborative on both sides of the screen. This is a code with Apple and we simply have to wait for their update. So if you are erasing something with your student, make sure that you're both erasing things. And that's all the icons for the whiteboard. Now I'm going to get rid of this image by pressing the trash can, and I'm going to press the blue back arrow, and I'm brought back to the home screen.